Hey everybody, welcome back to my 30 Days to Die series. It is the morning of day six, a dark morning. Uh, so we're going to have a quick look in here. I did a few things last night. I made a couple of bellows because we're going to need to make forges sooner rather than later. We we're at level 14, so we're pretty good. We can make forges now, so uh, I've got those already going. We need clay to be able to make the forges, and we don't have any, but we can pick some up tomorrow, uh, or today, I guess. Uh, I also was able to make the bicycle handlebars and the bicycle chassis, so now all we need to get is 20 scrap polymers to make that last wheel to make the bicycle, which is perfect. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at picking up today, as well as doing this uh, mission for the trader. we got to go way out there. It's only one kilometer away, so it's not too bad. Um, stripped out the inventory, put, all, put in all of our iron stuff, because we do have extra forged iron, so now we can repair these. So I'm going to be going with all iron tools today, and we're going to be footing it out there, unfortunately. Uh, trying to kill as many zombies on the way. That back door is locked. Uh, kill as many zombies on the way as we possibly can. And there's a bird flying around out here, but we're at full health, so I'm not worried about that. He's been bugging me all night. There you are. Is he actually going to come for me, or is he just going to... Yeah, I'm not leading him enough. And... Nope, he's moving. Yep. Yeah, forget it. Not worth it. Alright, so another thing we have to do today is pick up a bit of resources. We do need clay if we're going to be making forges. Um, I want to get three forges going again like I did last time. One for uh, making cement, uh, one for making uh, ammunition, and then one for making um, all of our iron needs. Yeah, these vultures, man. We're out in full force today. I guess all the uh, dead zombie bodies everywhere have been attracting them. So I think, like, I know where I'm kind of going with this one. I think there's a desert biome over here. But don't quote me, I could be wrong. So I took off the parka and put on the duster. Look at all these zombies out here today. You, can you, uh, give me a hand? Oh, leading you too much because you're it's raining here again. My biggest fear is running into a bear out here. Alright, let's take down as many of these guys as we can. Get to level 15. This guy's moving too slow. You know, sometimes you just wish these guys would sprint when they see you, but and other times you're like, nope, no sprinting, please. Let's kill you. Yeah, getting that two and a half times up. Nice. That should do him. This guy's on fire. Well, he was a second ago. You know what would be kind of nice? Is if... Um, when uh, it's raining out here, if you see steam coming off these guys, that would be kind of cool. I'm sure it would be difficult to do, but it would be kind of neat. Alright, what do we got over here? I'm not going to loot anything on the way there. Because I'm not sure... Like, the fetch quests are usually, like... Like, in a building, like, in a town. So if it's a town over there... Which I think it might be... Um... It may not be. But if it is, um, we can loot other buildings, try and find some plastic. That's kind of my goal. Let's see if we can get some honey. Actually, you know what I'm going to spend that point on? Because we got slow moving zombies. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go minor 69er. Usually I go the other way, mother load first, but this will give us a uh, quicker ability to be able to harvest blocks. So we're not spending so much time harvesting everything. So rather than four hits for that stump, it would have only been three. Nice. Free XP. It's a crawler. Oops. Ow! 
The birds are circling. I can hear them. Can you hear the birds? See? See? Told you. He's like, that one's wounded. Come on. I know you want some. Come get some. He's going to wait for me to attack somebody else. That's what you're going to get. Where are you? They always wait for you to do something. It's not 20%. Huge difference. There you are. Yeah, I see. He wants me bad, but only when my back's turned. Maybe I'm scaring him off. I don't know. Probably not. I know I've said it before, but this biome is actually kind of cool. I mean, completely unrealistic, but cool. The thing I like about these burnt houses, they, they've usually always got a couple things to loot. And I've actually found, like, dyes and stuff in them, too. Like, you'll find a lot of cooking pots and, like, grills, wrenches, things like that, but... Every once in a while, you'll find, like, dyes in them, too, which is kind of really nice. I found two dyes in a, in a uh, abandoned sink once in here. I'm just picking up the extra rocks in case we need to make more arrows while we're out here. I don't think we will. I got a lot. I had over 100 to start with, so that should be more than enough for today. Oh, what's going on? Skull Crusher, working out well for me today. All right, so there's a road here, which is nice. couple stumps. Perfect. Let's see if we can get anything off these guys. You know what I never thought? I don't know if these abandoned buildings have... Uh, oh, there's a mine here. I don't know if they've got... Um, like scrap polymer... Uh, like uh, Venetian blind things on the windows. I should check that. Ooh, nice. So let's mark this on the map. Uh, no. M for map. All right, gonna mark that as Moria, cause why not? Moria, the black chasm. Oh, looks like we are approaching a desert. Good thing I took that puffer coat off. Thought there was a desert over here. You know what we should do while we're here too? Hit up some more yucca. Oh, wait, we're here. Retrieve, oh, here's the house here. I thought it was in the town, but I guess it's not. Okay. Now, from what I understand, if you clear the house first, and then come back out, you reset it. Oh, and I went and bought that friggin' helmet light. We don't need that right now. I went and bought that freaking helmet light. Another guy in here, too. Nice. Take that fuel barrel. Oh, we know what we can do. Uh, let's get this. I forgot that you can wrench tires. There you go. There's ten. All we need is one more. Ah, sure. I know we shouldn't be looting right now, but I'm going to loot this uh, shed, and then we'll go inside. I hear you. I'll come for you in a second. Don't worry. Like, you hear him clicking along out there. You think he's moving fast, but he's like... Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Okay. Okay. Let's set this up and let's do this. So when you do, I don't know if you, if I showed you this, but when you activate a quest, it resets the entire house, which is why you don't want to have a quest in your house. 
Because then, where are you going? Dude, you're embarrassing me. There you go. He just wanted me to wait. He just wanted me to, to kill this guy first. He's like, no, 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 not me. Get that guy. I don't know. That's outside. Yeah, that's outside. Let's go deal with the outside guy first. Yeah, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh, it's another freaking crawler. Really? You maybe come all the way out here for you. I wish there was a way you could pull both of their arms off and watch them crawl across the ground like a snake. I know it's kind of weird to say that, but <laughs> it would be funny. Alright, um... Okay, we can get cloth in here. I was hoping the bookshelf was active, but nope. So it is upstairs. Looks like... Oh, of course, let's make noise. In the back corner, and you gotta watch down, watch for these guys. Damn it! You got what you deserve, and I got what I deserve for not moving. Oh, they're all angry. Why are you guys so angry? Did I just break into your house? Is that what it is? You're going to defend that, uh... Don't break the stairs. Stop breaking the stairs. Whoa! I didn't know you were down here. Get the frig off me. Oh, God. This could have been such a dis disaster. Look at my health. And I was like, you know, I should take some pills with me. And I'm like, nah, I won't bother. I don't need pills. How many pills for? Apparently this. I got 48 frames, though. All right, let's see if everybody's dead. Oh, I think they're not. Come on, guys. Let's mix it up. I'm full of self-loathing right now, so let's get this done. Come on, stand up. Ah. I should probably take healing. Healing factor. All right, let's just loot this place and get out of here. Shotgun, nice. I'm gonna wrench that. Let's knock this open. Duffel bag. Pills. Steroids, alright. That's some clay, but we're not going to take that back with us. There it is. Boom. We're going to wrench this, though. Uh, where is my wrench? There it is. So, at beds, you get almost as much um, XP as, like, killing a zombie. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. But you also get, a, like, a handful of good materials. Same with this stuff in here. I'll get this other bed in a second. But you get a lot of pipes from the bed. That's free wood. So this first rack here, you don't get very many pipes. But the second round here, like that was six pipes off that bed. That's pretty darn good. 24 cotton. All right, what do we got here? Nothing. Uh, okay. And then I think there's something here. Yep. Tell I've been in buildings like this before. Um, cloth. Oh, we got a schematic. I don't know what it was. Let's check it out. Uh, let's scrap this. Barbed wire mod schematic. Well, it's a good thing we didn't buy that uh, barbed wire thing for the bat. Now we checked all this out. Now there's, there's stuff out here. A purse. 33 bucks. 
have 33 gold anyway. Uh, let's eat this. Let's scrap this. And scrap this. We'll head downstairs, see what's in the kitchen. And then we will... Actually, let's grab these. Don't really need to, but... I got a feeling we might come back here at some point for another, another quest or another mission, so... Ooh, looting goggles. Good thing I didn't buy those, too. All right, what's in here? Iron. Take it. Water is always good. I think I can make... Uh, can I? Scrap this. Do I have enough yucca already? I got three. I just need one more. Just need one more. What's in here? One token. Token of his appreciation. There's a tire up here too. What do we got? Nothing. Okay, duct tape. I used all my duct tape last night, so let's hope. Whoops. Come on. That was. Oh, I left clicked an attack for some reason. That's bullshit. Okay, let's turn all this cotton into cloth. I don't know why I'm taking all this cloth. We don't need it all. Okay. Let's ditch these. We're not going to need these right away. Take Ditch that. Uh, let's get our weight down here. We need the paper. Probably not. Uh, we can scrap this. Um, what else? That's probably enough. Okay. Let's move out. Grab some yucca while we're here. So let's just put you in there for now. And then we'll head back home. We know we got a whole town over here we can explore. Once again, I want to start doing some good quest lines here. You know what we should do? I think our next skill point, we should start making uh, first aid bandages because damn. Taking a lot of damage. Uh, so we need to get some aloe. Alright guys, while well, I ran around here grabbing a whole bunch of stuff, got 22 aloe vera leaves, 26 yucca, that's another, well, 13 uh, yucca juice smoothies. One, if we get one more aloe, that'll be enough for six bandages, which I think will probably be good. Um, what do we got bird's nest here? I'm having a hard time finding eggs today, though. Oh, there's some more plastic, which we need. So let's break this up. Then we're going to head back, grab this and scrap it. We'll hit up whatever um, yucca and stuff we can until we get out of the desert. And then um, we'll head straight back to the trader, cash in this quest, and see what he's got. Tomorrow he's going to have a whole new inventory, so if there's anything we want, we got to buy it off him now. I don't think there's really anything we absolutely have to have. Um, there's a few things that I'd like to have, but don't really have to have anything. I really want more of this than anything. It'd be nice rather than just using bandages if we actually get health back. The first aid bandages are so much better. Okay, so we've got 29. We need three more to make another bandage. What's up, buddy? Thank you for waiting. Oh, not that. This. I always appreciate it when the zombies wait for me to attack them. Line it up, guys. Line it up. Everyone take their turn. Like you. Oh, you hit me. Getting cocky. Getting stupid and cocky. Alright, how much we got? 33 yucca and 30. We need one more yucca and two more aloe and we can get the hell out of here. One more yucca. One aloe. I could have grabbed that, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. Come on, aloe. There we go. We'll grab two of these. Okay, let's get across this barren terrain. Put this down here. Give us a bit more weight back. I'm going to try out the burst group on this pistol. So the next zombie we find out here... 
We're going to smoke him with the pistol and see how that works out. I don't know how a lot of these mods work, so like it's rare that I actually get a lot of them. I tried using the silencer, but the range on the pistol becomes really short, so unless you've got like a, a barrel extender mod uh, on your pistol as well, it's really, really difficult to hit stuff at a, at a, at a uh, even medium range. Okay, no bears. No bears. Finally getting some eggs, nice. Not that we need them, but because we've got um, tons of food. I cooked up a bunch of our food last night, so got lots of bacon and eggs back home. All right, let's try this. I reloaded you. Oh, that's kind of cool. Why won't it reload? Dude, reload. So it fires two at a time. That's kind of handy. It'd be great against dogs. So what I want is the burst group, uh, magazine extender, um, what else do I want in the pistol? Barrel extender, silencer. Uh, I can have up to five at a level six pistol. So what else would I put on it? Damage bonus, maybe? I mean, later in the game, it'll be like a rad remover or something, but I'm just thinking for clearing houses. Rather than using a bow, we get tons of pistol ammo. You could go into a house with a silenced pistol and just smoke everything in the house with a silenced pistol instead. I think it does more damage than the bow as well, so... Maybe recoil compensator, some kind of recoil compensator or something on it? To keep it from, like, straying the shots everywhere? Oh, you know what? Uh, moldy bread, I can't, I can't remember what... Moldy bread can be used for something, I can't remember what it is now. I thought it was, like, antibiotics, but there's something else it can be used for. Let's check its recipes first. Antibi it is just antibiotics. Moldy bread, nitrate powder, murky water. Okay. Let's just leave that behind, though. We've already got antibiotics right now, and I, I and all the games I've played, I've never needed them, so... I mean, I guess if we get food poisoning or something, we can use them, but... I really haven't needed it in any way. So with it being day six, we need to start thinking about a set plan of action. Uh, I think maybe every second day we go on a quest and then um, like we should go into town and loot some places. We should go back over and hit up that working stiff tool shop that we saw, the pill shop that we saw on the way down here. Uh, now that we have enough plastic to make a bicycle, that's a huge bonus. And you know what I never did when we were here last time and I'm sure people are were saying it, I never checked the loot in this guy's place. So let's go around really quick. We'll check out what he's got. Nothing. I think this is barren over here, right? Yeah. Uh, let's go in here. No working forge. We, we, got, we got the ability to make our own. Oh yeah, that's the one thing we have to do uh, before I forget is grab some clay before we go back. So we have that for tonight. Does he have a still that works? Not that it matters. Yep, he does. Okay, cool. It's a little safer than the one that's outside. Down the road from us. Uh, workbench is out here and cement mixer is out here, right? Yeah, workbench works. And the mixer works. Okay. So this is a good place to come. Do I have anything to sell you? I don't think I do. <sighs> Buy that for nine. Uh, that's seven. Really? Oh yeah, I might as well sell you all the cash. Um... Oh, we can sell them this too. Okay, cool. We got a bit of coin on us. 129. Not bad. Yeah, you think? Be careful in here with your smart mouth. You wouldn't want to get hurt either. Okay. We're almost there. 
Now I think we get a bunch of coin with this too, so that'll be nice. Uh, let's take out this tree though. Yeah, that's the one thing I think I want to do. Maybe the rest of this episode, I don't know, is I want to clear out the trees that are obscuring things around here. Just because I don't like not being able to see what's around. The thing about these tools is that they use a lot of stamina. They're fast, but crappy on stamina. Now those little things don't necessarily obscure. Oh yeah, there was a workbench over here. They don't really obscure anything, but at a distance they sometimes look like zombies, so I like to get rid of them. Okay, there's a workbench there. Let's take this tree out. And... If you always wonder why I look down when I go into places like this, it's just so I can, if I can see zombies on the left or right. Gives you better peripheral vision if you do it this way. All that helps. That's like 100 cobble right there. Perfect. Okay. And this is destroyed. Alright, let's wrench it. And then we'll head to the trader. Got a Zamboni creeping up on us here. Well, it thinks he's creeping up on us. Oh, it's a wandering horde. Because of course it is. What else would it be? What's up, guys? I'm right here. Right here. Shuff shuffle zombies. Two down. Three down. Let's get my stamina back. God, I'm so glad I have so many ranks of pack meal. It just makes tangling with zombies on foot so much easier. Come on, stamina back, please. Alright, one left. There you go. Now there's got to be some stragglers. Yeah, I hear them. Where are those stragglers? Oh, it's Mo. Dude. Always lagging behind. There you go. Oh, finally a loot bag. Mo, you're so generous. He's like, kill me enough times. Oh, combat helmet. Oh, there's two nurses too. Okay, come on. Get up. One down. First aid train, coming behind. Ooh, that was right in the gut. I don't take the wind out of you, huh? All right, let's get down here. Wasted enough time. We are so overloaded. Alright, let's drop this stuff off in there. And I think what we'll do for the rest of the day is we're going to hit up this other build, this other place right beside us. Clear that out of zombies. Because there's a lot of, uh, looks like concrete and, and cobblestone in there. And then what we can do is I'll set the cobblestone to go into to flagstone blocks tonight. And then once we get the flagstone... We can start working on the outside of the other place. Oh, really? A level one iron fire axe, or first oh ten first aid bandages. Well, we'll we'll take that, and four hundred eighty seven tokens, man. Yeah, thank you. You have anything else? Clear zombies. Eight hundred and some odd kilometers. Oh, we'll take that one. No matter what, I'm grateful for everything you've done. Yeah, me. I'm kind of glad you're here, guy. Let's just do this. Good thing we didn't spec this yet. We don't need that right now. Uh, we don't have enough to get this. This is what I want. Um, Come back tomorrow. We get new goods daily. 
You get new goods three times every day. Well, sorry, every three days. Sorry. All right. So it's in the town. Interesting. I don't know if we have enough time to get there and back, though. Let's go drop all this shiz off. Get healed up, which I'm going to do like... Uh, we're going to use a pill. Can't see how taking pills is very hard work. Okay, let's get in here. Uh, let's drop off... I mean, we could put the bike together. That's a great possibility. Let's do that. That, that, that. Helmet can stay there for now. Steel arrows. Uh, this is going in the other one. You can go... No, that's medical supplies. You go in there, you go in there, you go in there. Don't know if we're going to need the mining helmet. That's enough for one light. If we don't get back, we're going to make sure we buy the one light. We're going to be making... The wheel. So let's do that. Make the bike on the way. Okay, we need those. Let's drop all this other shiz off. You, 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 you. Yep, yep. The oh, ammo goes in the other one. Yep, yep. Uh, what else goes in here? Eggs. Uh, the helmet. Honey can go in here. Iron. Wheel. Get that wheel going. Concrete. Uh, what else do we need to put in here? We need the one mechanical part for the bike. Don't need the forged iron. Keep that on us. Okay, that looks good. Keep the tokens on us. Let's go by the spotlight. Hopefully the bike is done by then. We'll go down and do this other mission. Thank God we got healing bandages and I meant to take a pill before we left, but whatever. Whatever. We'll see how we're doing when we're there. So let's go buy that spotlight. We have to start keeping our gas now. But I think we'll get gas from wrenching cars. I, you today? Uh, I want to buy this one spotlight off you if you don't mind. I want to buy another one too when I come back, but... Pleasure doing business and you too. Let's hopefully that, hope that bike is ready. Can we get enough... Is our wheel done yet? Two seconds, one second. Um, okay, let's craft that bike. And let's just start heading. I know we said we were going to go in here, but I would rather do this fetch quest. See if we can get enough coin to get that other spotlight. Oh, come on. Give me that bicycle, man. We need to get there fast. I did not see it propagate. Let's go. Let's do this. It's only level 3 bike, but whatever. Endurance is good enough. Pedal coast, pedal coast. So this is a clear zombies. Hopefully it's a small building. And something with lots of loot in it. That would be nice. Okay, it's 4.30. Still got a fair bit of time. Well, we got, what, five and a half hours before 10 o'clock? Looks like there's lots of places here to loot, too. Like some half-decent places. Don't be the graveyard. Oh, it's that house, probably. Hey, buddy, what's up? Keep your eye open where you're going. Right here. Alright, let's turn the bike around. Deal with this guy outside. Then we'll head in here. Yeah, I know he's not coming, but... Once shit starts going down in here, he's probably going to come this way. Oh, come on. There you go. You got it. He's far enough away. Alright, let's do this. Okay, guys. Here we go. Loot second. Remember to loot second. 
destroy workbench that we can smash up. All quiet in the western front. I'm almost expecting to see a dog back here in this yard. All right, looks like we're going downstairs first because we might as well start off in the basement. Good place to get trapped. Um, I hate that they put the red dots. I mean, it's nice, but you'd almost want to know or not know until you finished up all the zombies. And that's how I feel. You know, I've never been in this POI. All three of these guys kept my arrows. Oh my god. Such a friendly group of zombies. Okay, we got... <laughs> yeah, you're doing a good job hiding back there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and those two guys are doing a great job hiding in there, too. I don't know if you heard me loose my arrow or what it was. Doesn't matter, you're dead now, anyway. He only kept one of my arrows, that stingy bastard. Let's just do that. Makes it easier. It's not what I want to do right now. Hopefully they don't hear me. Yeah, this totally looks safe. Um... Good thing I got like 47 frames. Don't know if that's a breakaway or not. Looks like a lot of these are. That's that other idiot outside. Always bring your frames, guys. Really? Oh man, I should have known better. I should have known that that side was like nothing. Okay, I guess we're breaking in here. Still got more guys. He was the boss zombie. Might as well just use this now. We got them all for free, so what the hell? That looks promising, huh? It's like, come on up here and die. Thank goodness we brought so many frames. Yeah, that totally looks safe, huh? Totally safe. It's just screaming, please step on me and come to your death. Oh, there's the kitchen. Uh, what do we got for zombies, though? We got somebody upstairs? Is that it? How do we get up there? Nerd pole, I guess. Um. Oh, there you are. You just gonna stand up here, eh? 
Wake up! Oh. Well, there's the loot room. Oh, there you are. Come on. Do I need to make a way for you to get to me? There you go. I'm right here. I was the one that shot you in the head. There you are. That's somebody outside. I'm not worried. We're just going to grab this stuff real quick. Because we got to get back home. Cash this in. Get our other... Uh, Get our other spotlight. Don't think that guy can get to us. He says as the guy sneaks up behind us and kills us mercilessly. Ooh, nice. And that's okay. Let's grab this. Stop wrecking stuff. Where are you? Oh, you're coming in there. It's friggin' Mo. Of course it is. See ya. Who else would it be? Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, drink some. Drink something. Okay, let's grab all of our frames because, well, except for that one. I didn't really want that one anyway. Uh, yeah, we're gonna grab all our frames. So we're gonna grab as much of this cobble as we can. Loot what we can before we get out of here. Nothing behind there. Don't need plastics. I'm not hitting up these boxes. There's just no way. It's in here. Sure. We got like two hours before the trader closes, so we gotta be quick. Suitcase. Nothing. Wanna wrench this bed? I don't know. Let's wrench the bed. Why not? That'll get us up a level. How did you gain a level today, Bobby? Well, I just wrenched the bed. That's what I did. Really? That didn't give us a level. Beds don't give you levels, Bobby. Oh shit, I want the, uh... I want this. What did you today do today, Bobby? I dug up some cobblestone to get a level. That's what I did. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm wasting time, but then you know what? Makes it more exciting that way. Oh, nerdy goggles. Yes, please. I should just put those on when I'm doing, um, making gear. Because I keep forgetting to put them on when I loot stuff. Like the Lucky Looter goggles. So I leave those ones on by mistake. And then when I'm looting shiz, I get worse loot. Okay, that's that. Let's see if we can get the passing gas. Still got time. Oh, mini bike frame. Okay. We're going to have so much cobble. It's great. So I think we just try and outline the entire base. There's two things here. How do you get the uh, still? It's like... You can't get it. Okay. Whatever. I'm not going to waste my time. Wasting time is bad. Although I'm very, very good at it. Okay, we're almost done here. What do you got for me? I could have always come back tomorrow and looted this place, but I'd rather do something else tomorrow. We still got an hour. Come on. It's going to be close, guys. I'm not going to get the stone. Okay, I'm not going to wrench that still either. Or the workbench, I mean. 
Keep the trigger group out. Come on. Yeah, I hear you. Let's try and make as straight as line as we can home. I think we got enough time to get there. It's going to be cutting it really close, though. All this for a friggin' spotlight. I mean, if we don't get it, it's not the end of the world, but it's nice to see if I can. Oh, there's one of those buildings. I could turn that into a horde base. I don't know, I haven't really decided. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, like, layout-wise for a horde base. I want to kind of do, like, a... Uh, make, like, a machine gun bunker kind of thing. Where we're up off the ground, the zombies have to kind of come up and down a uh, channel to get to us. Kind of like we did what we did, we did before, but a little different. Um, just to give the zombies a bit more of a fighting chance. So, like, fill it up with barbed wire so it's slow, but make it nice and wide so they can all kind of come down there. Like, rather than making it one wide where we're going to try to funnel them into a little little narrow area, uh, make it, like, fairly wide, just so we have big waves of zombies coming at us all at once. Then put some mines in there and a bunch of other stuff. Mines, barbed wire, uh, spikes, like, everything. Uh, let's just pick you up now. Come on. Let's go force this guy to give us a good deal. Yeah, maybe not. Come on, have a beaker for me, buddy. All prices. Thank you, Survivor. My father in your debt. Are you? Here is your reward. All right. Uh, we don't have enough, so let's sell this. God, that was such a bad. We need 680. We're not going to get it. 94 for the shotgun. Do we have enough? Uh, so, yeah, we do. Yeah! Yeah, we're out of here. We made it. Just made it. All that for a freaking spotlight. Oh, we got a generator bank early. Now we just need engines. Right? We'll get the engines going. Nighttime will be the right time. Uh, let's just drop this stuff in here. Yeah, man, we got the spotlights. Okay. I kind of feel happy about that. Uh, we need to keep the ammo on us. The pistol can go in. Shotgun can go in. Uh, I should have sold it, but whatever. We'll have to do that tomorrow. Actually, let's just leave this stuff out for sale tomorrow. Uh, nerdy glasses. I'm probably going to be making stuff tonight, so I'll leave that on. Uh, this stuff can go in here. Trader Joel's is now closed. Trader Joel's is now closed. Uh, we don't need this right now. So I think, yeah, we're going to be selling this tomorrow. Okay. Um, that is pretty good, I think. We did a pretty good job overall. Now we've got like 1,500 of these cobblestone rocks. This can go in here. Uh, that's it. We got 63 coins left, which isn't very much. And there is the night time. Because you know night time is the right time. Actually, let's keep this out. So I'm going to do some repairs tonight, guys. Figure out what we're going to sell tomorrow. Get that accumulated. Um, and I'll try and make as much um, flagstone as I can tonight. Maybe we try and fix up that base tomorrow. Um, this one beside us here, the big one. And then... Maybe first thing in the morning we raid this one over here, grab the whatever co uh, cobblestone and concrete bags that are there, and then we'll go and work on the one next door and try and get a full flagstone out like, exterior to it. Um, and then we'll use whatever's on the interior as just extra reinforcement. But we'll want to make sure the outside will be completely covered in flagstone. Uh, and then we'll upgrade that to um, brick, and then we'll upgrade it to concrete at some point. Um, if I can start making um, rebar frames, uh, then we will use those, but I don't know. I might get the forges built tonight, and we didn't get any clay. 
So I won't get the forges built tonight unless I can go outside and grab some clay, which I, or actually go to the basement and get some clay. So I'll do that. Uh, make some forges tonight. If we can get some rebar frames, we'll use those. But once we get the flagstone in place, we can figure out what we're going to do from there. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.